always trying to get into the head of a designer and figure out what things you do to make a space look so good and to really add impact. So exactly. that's going to be the lesson here right now, what you can do to add, to bump up your space. Yeah, impact without being like wacky. No, because that'd be you want wacky. impact, but you want it to last. Yes. So sometimes I see space and I'm like, okay, how long is that going to last? <laughs> but um, so we want a bit of impact, and everything we have in this room is from Hudson's Bay. Nice. Um, and it, what I want to first of all show you the mix of different periods and not extreme periods. Mm -hmm. So this is all called Norwegian Twilight, and you've got this very traditional bench with the tufting, but the gray makes it a little more contemporary. The chair classic mid-century 50s chair yeah. very popular right now done in the gray also but the oak the natural oak uh -huh. and then the tables are very 70s the chrome and what I love to do is mix end tables and coffee tables together yeah I like that look that cool? you've got the different levels going exactly. on exactly so don't just bigger. buy a coffee table buy the end table too they're always at different heights yeah and just push them together and I think this is much more dynamic it and is. it's also for those of us like me that like to eat in front of the TV, yes. you just you just sit here and sort of pull it forward. And it's yeah, like now, you're, now you're speaking my language. Exactly. Also, oh, what yeah. do you want to say? I what? was going to talk about this. I was just uh, going to say we've been talking about these colors coming back. Yes. They're back with a vengeance. Exactly. So that, ro that, that dusty rose. That dusty, but in little bits. But in little in bits. accessories. And it looks very classy. Don't we've do, done it. Try not to do dusty rose wall-to-wall -wall carpet. <laughs> Don't do it. Because we know <laughs> that's going to go in a dumpster. Yeah, you'll be so, upset. So bring a little bit of Dusty Rose. This is all based on a Northern European from Copenhagen accessories that we've created. Mm -hmm. And then at the gold accessories. Again, really mix up your metals. Yeah. Do not use all the same metal. It's so boring when everything is chrome or everything is gold. But when we use gold, I like really soft golds, very subtle right. golds. Yeah, it's subtle. And then paint. I mean, yes. if you can't be bold with paint, where are you going to go? Because you can change that so easily. And I love really bold wall colors and dens and cozy spaces. Mm -hmm. And they're a great backdrop for art. Like, look how that art pops on that wall. That is gorgeous and a nice, beautiful, big piece of art. What's cool is that while the walls get darker, the flooring is getting lighter. Good segue. Right? I have got, where is that? Here it is. It's hiding on you. And this is that, what I love, this is a big trend. This is from Vintage Floors in Canada. And this is that beautiful Northern European floor. This really is, it's new to us really in Canada mm -hmm. and North America. It's not to the Europeans. This has been around for hundreds of years. Um, this is sort of a limed oak. So they, they wire brush it uh -huh. and it gets this light stain and then it's called what's called ceruzing. Ceruzing is when you take a white stain or lime mm -hmm. and you put it on and you wipe it off so the grain turns white as opposed to black cool. normally like if you see on the wood furniture the grain goes dark um, and I love the herringbone patterns it's beautiful it's just it that would really lighten up a space completely and, and very contrast. hard wearing so this is great in high traffic areas kitchens things like that yeah. the light floors don't show scratches and if you're not a great ho housekeeper dust yeah. Because they, you know, dark floors, you have to really get that swept everything. around. And then I love textured wallpapers. Yeah, me too. And grass cloth is hot again. It was very popular in the 70s. Mm -hmm. I remember watching my mother with syringes sticking glue into it because it kept peeling. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure they were wondering, why is she buying all these syringes? <laughs> But she was a very healthy woman. Um, but she needed to put glue in the grass cloth and it would peel off. The house right. was, I guess, very dry. <laughs> but grass cloth is a great way to add texture to the room and, um, and you could do a feature wall and things like that. We're seeing yeah. lacquered linen furniture also that looks like this and then they lacquer to color nice. again from the 70s. But it's about textures and color and things like that. An instant warming up of space when you do that as well. You know, exactly. if you have a space that's looking a little cold or feeling a little empty, then that's going to do it. But you could keep it all refined, have yeah. some fun with different periods, and it's really going to last a long time. You're going to love it. I like the lesson about different periods, because I think people think different periods, and they think there's no way this can all work together. It works all together. Exactly. There are certain things that tie it all together, the yeah. color, the, the color, textures. The materials, and you could go even more extreme. You could do like a Louis XVI chair, and maybe do it in a gray flannel, and that right. would look great too. So don't be afraid to mix everything up. That's what adds personality to a space. Like, Absolutely. 